Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler, and this is episode 7 of my Airfix 172nd scale Shackleton AW2 build. If you're watching this, um, please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, we're going to be filling lots of gaps in the nacelle roots and wings. We're using perfect plastic putty here. Once we've left it for a few minutes, we'll get a damp cotton bud and wipe the excess away. So, Without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on! That's the holes filled. Now to wipe it off with a damp cotton bud. There we have that sorted out. Just need to leave it to dry, then we can finish it off. Next up, we're going to be gluing part of the radome on, but, nah, I'm not gonna tell ya. I'll let you see. So, let's crack on with that, shall we? There's the radon part glued in place, or so I thought. Anyway, next up, let's prep the tailwheel support for priming. Here we go with that. There we go, that's ready for priming. Now, it was at this point that I'm looking at the destructions and realised that I'd put the radon support to the rear of the bomb bay. Wrong! It should be towards the front. So, I suppose I'd better rectify that, hadn't I? Right, let's crack on and fix that issue. There we have that sorted out. Now, as you've already seen, we've done the seams. Next, to prime the fuselage and see where we have bits to fix. You may or may not know, but I prime from a rattle can, so I don't show that, and I personally find it easier. There are a few spots to fix, so let's crack on and use some of my homebrew sprue glue. Here we go with that. That's the fuselage sprue glue, we'll leave that to one side to dry. Next up, the undercart. Firstly, I'm going to do the wheels. Here I'm using a circle template I picked up from a local stationer's for a couple of squids. I'll work out which one to use, then blank off the ones around that so I don't get overspray. So let's crack on with that.
there, we have that sorted. Now, let's crack on and get the hub sprayed, shall we? We're using Alclad's ALC 115 stainless steel for them, so let's get them cracked. Next, the pistons on the landing gear struts. That's those done, but there's a bit of clean up to do on the wheels. I was a tad out of line holding them. So for this, I'm gonna be using Tamiya's XF85 Rubber Black. There we have the cleanup done on the wheels. They just need a marker on there to show wheel creep. Anywho, next up we have the cleanup operation on the wings. Firstly, I've got to clean this wing up as I dropped it on the grass whilst the primer was still wet. Go! Once we've done that, we'll see how well the putty has done on those god awful gaps between the wing and the engine nacelles. So, let's crack on with that. They're looking okay, so I'm sure the priming will highlight some issues that need resolving. Next up, the sprue glue on the fuselage is now dried. So let's knock that back and see how it's worked. caught a bit of the copy decks and ripped it off while I was doing the sanding. So we'll redo that and then carry on with the seam bashing. There we have the fuselage done. Let's pop that to one side, ready for priming. I was outside spraying the wings with white primer and it started to rain. Marvellous. So I've got bleeding splash marks on the wings now. They now need cleaning up, so let's crack on with those. we have those wings ready. I'm not sure what it is but I've found that the white primer doesn't highlight the seam lines as well as black does. Interesting, what do you guys think? Anywho, 
I need to spray the underside of the wings with black primer. So before I do that, I'm filling the wheel wells with foam to protect the paint. Here we go. There we have both wings ready for repriming. Hopefully that'll be the last one. Next up, we're going to prep the tail wheel door. So here we go with that. That's those prepped, ready for priming. Next up we're sorting the Bombay doors, which we've already primed, so here we go with those. There we go, that's the Bombay doors sorted out. As you can see from the destructions, we're going to be doing sections 93 and 94 next, whatever the hell they are. So let's get them done. That's the whatever the hell they are done. They actually look like some form of intake or something. Anywho, next up we have the actuators for the elevators, so let's crack on with those. There we go, that's the actuators sorted out and glued in place. Next up, we have this big aerial, as you can see, in section 100. So, let's get this crack, shall we? There we have the aerial glued clamped and prepped, ready for priming. Next up, we need to give the props a bit of a clean up and a repaint. We'll be using Tamiya XF85 rubber black for that bit. So here we go with a clean up and repaint.
So there we have the props cleaned up and repainted, ready for decals. Or are they? If you want to find out, come back for the next episode. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end this episode. So thank you for watching episode seven. If you want to see what happens in episode eight, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling.